This net? Oh. Unnecessary net. Oh. Right here. This net. Oh, we, should we, just we really him. should just take them <laughs> off, boys. Like, what's the what's the point? Yeah, it depends how much you want to try and drive up. Isn't there a parking spot? Mm. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron for the hike, are we? <laughs> Welcome back to Onwards and Upwards, everybody. I'm here with the boys in the Monishi Mountains. Today we're climbing up Sugar Mountain, about an eight hour round trip, doing this hike to prepare for some harder hikes later on. It's a bit rainy today, but mostly blue skies. We just got out of this terrible heat wave here, so it should be a really nice hike. Thanks for coming along. About 30 minutes after we started the hike, I realized that we started from the wrong parking lot. I knew that the proper trail started just across Sugar Creek. Because I knew the route and where we needed to go, I thought it was safe enough to cut through the forest, cross the creek, then come upon the real logging road, the real trail that goes up to the top of Sugar Mountain. That's really wild. Little detour, and now we're back on the right trail. What the f is that in front of you, Dan? That bug right on the rock. That's a really, that's probably one of the wackest bugs. Really wackest. Wait, it's moving with that weird thing. It's twitchy. Oh, so twitchy. Twitchy bugs are really spooky. I don't know. I saw a horse fly on his shoulder before. It was like this big. No, 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 look at that. How you feeling? Too much haram for me, but Pretty tired, but you know what? I think we can do this. So in 2018, there was a huge forest fire right up here and you can still see it. Nice. About, but there's a little uh, hut at the top of the mountain and we're going to camp there overnight. Nice lad, that's sick. Thank yeah. Good luck, yeah. Have a good one. Good. I taste fire, honestly. <sighs> oh, this kind of crazy reaction going Should be nice. Oh, yeah. Looking like some scarlet by the sun. Just a little scarlet by the sun. Big moose tracks right here. Looks like there's this could be smaller ones. If you look uh, right beside your foot first, there's a small on your right. Smaller right tracks right Smaller one right here. Bigger one right here. Definitely a big boy. Oh, it'll breathe. Thank you. Thank God for the breeze. <sighs> Solid. 
little shade for the boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, let's get through here. So I'm absolutely spent. I'm just dead tired. This is the first real hike of the season, so it feels good to get the body back used to hiking again. We're all just gassed. It really seems like this mountain goes up forever. Uh, it's also kind of hot, a little bit smoky. Definitely not one of the easier hikes I've ever done. Good. Have a good one. Right. Have a good one. Wants more water. Um, we made it. And there's snow up here at the hut. Was that the hardest hike you ever did in your life? Oh, by far. By far. Nothing even close. That's ridiculous. At least three of us had major cramps on the way up. Yo. Uh, Finally made it to the hut. This is a lifesaver. Huge horse flies here, oh my god. Did you see that horse fly? It flew up, got it like in the air, threw it down, stepped on it. Oh boy, that's huge, show them. It's a big boy? Look. Oh mother. I saw a bigger one. We need cheese for dinner. Was I grabbing cheese? Huh? Yeah, bro. Was I grabbing yeah. cheese? You guys oh, I thought you just pointed at the watch, cheese. Watch your tongue, cheese I, did that. I put a thin, thin slice on this, this bread is actually really nice. I wouldn't be against falling asleep at 8 p.m. tonight. Still working on my recovery right here. Eric, you need some water, bud. If you don't fall asleep at 8 p.m. Well, we'll see some sort of crazy sunset. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean, if we always sleep. No. Lack of food and dehydration. We're definitely not going to be dying from lack of food. Not dying. No. No. I only drank one liter of my three liters up the hike, so I have about a liter left. Like a liter and a bit left. Is it cramping or just more um, stomach fish? Because if it's cramping, just don't drink it. Look at all these dead bastards! Right. Yo, fuck, yo, lap. It's like whack a mole. Kill him. Bag You know what season it is. Oh, 
Although we arrived at the top of the mountain with enough water, about 1 or 2 liters per person, we realized that especially if we wanted to cook, we were going to have to get some more water somehow. As it would take at least 2 hours to hike to the nearest water source, we decided to collect and heat up some snow using our portable stove. Yeah, what are you doing there, bud? Oh, I'm just cooking up some snow. <laughs> That's the problem, we're lacking in skeeters. <laughs> Not many mosquitoes, huh? Not too many mosquitoes, oh, right? <laughs> I'd say barely any. Yeah, this net, oh. unnecessary net. Oh, right here. This net. oh we, <laughs> should we, we really <laughs> should just take them off, boys. Like, what's the, what's the point? <laughs> Dude, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Find him in BC, thought I lost him. Didn't lose it. It's my oh, past yeah. Before we finally went to bed, we enjoyed each other's company and the warmth of the fire. As we were trying to sleep though, we realized that one of the window panes was slightly broken. Broken enough that mosquitoes can fly in in the night and bite us. As you can imagine, we didn't have the best night's sleep of all time. As it was a relatively clear night, I decided to set up my camera to do a time lapse of the night sky. Only months after the hike did I actually look at the footage, but when I did, I discovered that that night, as we were fast asleep, the northern lights were moving all around in the sky above us. I managed to capture this time lapse.
The next morning, Denzer and I woke up early because of the sunlight shining into the hut. We decided to go on a walk to check out the sunrise. The rest of the group soon woke up and joined us as well. So far in my life, I've never seen a sunrise as beautiful as the one I saw that morning. Most incredible sunrise I've seen in a long time. I don't think it's probably the most beautiful sunrise I've seen. All right, so it's the next morning here and we're just really tired. We're dehydrated. We didn't sleep well. Uh, you really need water up here on the mountain. Inside of the fire lookout, there were so many bugs. There were horse flies and there was a crack in one of the windows. So in the night, mosquitoes were coming in. So we all had awfully terrible sleeps. So we just want to get down to the car as fast as we can. And man, these views are just 
uh, fantastic. The sunrise here this morning was definitely one of the best sunrises I've ever seen in my life. Just a pure band of red across the sky. Absolutely beautiful. 4.30. Yeah, 4.30 or so. Like Insane. That. Oh, some sun, of the most... I, was, I kept standing up in there to look at the sunrise because I knew it was going to be big. Yeah. Oh boys, I'd be down to get down this mountain ASAP. Get, yeah. oh, get away from these like fucking look mosquitoes. Look at that view Did you have a good sleep? Oh no, no. Uh, but I did manage to fall asleep when I thought I wouldn't be able to. And that, uh, that primed me up for uh, this morning. But you know, I think maximum, say three hours, maximum. Yeah. Four maybe. Uh, oh, we're making it down two hours, no breaks, no water breaks, full sand. <laughs> uh, you have a good sleep, Ricky? Oh, not the best sleep I've ever had in my entire life, but, you know, got at least about, you know, five and a half hours. Should That's be able to make it down. The pointy one? Yeah, the pointy the one. one. The right is Odin, eh? Yeah, right is Odin. The dome? The mountain, straight there. And the dome is Odin, the, the kind of jagged triangular mm. peaks of the left of it is Thor. That one there is Goat Mountain, I think. Right here? The far one. No, the one to the left of the... I think on the map, this is Sugar Mountain. But in the past, they would call this Sugar Loaf. And they would call that Sugar Mountain. See there? See the head? See, yeah, it's the head, the legs, the back leg. Yeah, I can't believe that looks like a horse from the left. Not on my hands either. Oh, God, that man. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. My little orange. I don't know. But I was in the bed all the way. <sighs> All right, so we just got back to the car. We're all super exhausted. This is a long couple days, so we're gonna head back home and relax. Hey, son. Son and a half. How are we feeling? We did go for a swim when we get back. <laughs> nah. What do you want to do when you get back? I want to eat food. I want to drink coffee. I got to drop a deuce. <laughs> and take a nap. And maybe go swimming. What doesn't kill you only sometimes makes you stronger. In the aftermath of this hike, our friend Ricky developed a strange toe injury on the pinky toe of his left foot. At first we thought it might have been a hairline fracture, we thought it might have been an infection caused by an ingrown toenail on the hike, but we didn't know for sure, so we thought that we should really take Ricky to the doctor. Over a period of about two weeks, we went to two different doctors, one in Vernon and one in Kelowna, who both misdiagnosed him and said it was a hairline fracture, when in fact the whole time it was an infection. Due to the incompetence of the doctors we saw, later on in the trip, the infection on Ricky's toe would swell up so much that it would experience a fate that best not be described on YouTube. Ricky was forced to hobble around on crutches for several months. Although we got to the top of the mountain, this mountain left us exhausted. I just want to say thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, drop a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time on Onwards and Upwards.